channel. I'm going to be doing a video on how I stopped binging and having the diet mindset that people usually have nowadays. So if you're interested in watching on how I overcame my disorder, then keep watching this video. So the first thing that I did to get over my binging was I deleted the calorie counting app on my phone. So calorie counting apps are anything like my fitness pal or my net diary our bodies aren't dumb and it's not beneficial to count your calories it led to my binging because my body was screaming for food and it was like please feed me you have been limiting me so much and now i just i'm going nuts and i need to eat all this food so i ended up eating everything and then ended up tripling my calorie intake. The second step that I have is to stop timing your meals. Every four hours I would eat a meal and I did literally everything that people told me that you should be doing and people tell you to time your meals because it's good for your metabolism which it is good to eat throughout the day for your metabolism but that doesn't mean that you have to eat on the dot every four hours or every three hours or whatever. You know your body best, not all these other people. So as long as you listen to your body and eat when it's hungry, then you'll be fine. I would end up binging at the end of the day because I was eating like all these things that I was supposed to be eating. So I wasn't eating when or what I wanted to eat. At the end of the day, I would end up binging on everything that I told myself that I couldn't have. Step number three is I stop counting my macros. So some people take it one step further and instead of counting their calorie intake, they're counting their macro intake. Now you have to pay attention to how many carbs, proteins, and fats you're taking in. And this is even more stressful than the calorie intake because if you decided to eat a donut at the end of the day and it was fine because it fit in your calorie intake, then you were fine. But now you can't even eat the donut because it doesn't fit into your carb intake. One step further, maybe you want an apple and you can't even eat the apple because it doesn't fit into your carb intake. People were, are neglecting and I was neglecting healthy foods because it didn't fit into the numbers that I was putting into my body. Obviously this wasn't a good thing to do and it led to my binging because at the end of the day I would end up eating all the carbs at once and not even throughout the day and just eating them all at once and tripling my carb intake because I was limiting myself I would just be binging on everything like every sweets everything everything that I could get my hands on that had like carbs and sugars and whatever number four big tip I gave up every single diet that I was on all these fad diets that you hear online and everything that you see on social media is just a temporary fix you just think about it and think you're going to be doing this diet through your whole life even when you're an older person you're not don't you want to enjoy food and like live a healthy lifestyle it's so much better if you just take the long route and live healthy and balanced and happy and not over these fad diets that you're going to hate yourself for and you're just going to go diet after diet after diet and you're not actually going to love yourself ever trust me because i was 119 pounds with all these diets and i still hated myself so you can be anything and still hate yourself if you don't have a healthy relationship with food number five is probably the tip that really helped me the most. I ate everything that I wanted to. So if you eat everything that you want to, it's like a new mindset and you're gonna be living freely. Your mind is gonna be like, I can eat this if I want and I can eat that if I want and I don't have to worry about a diet or if it fits into anything. Finally listening to your body for once and finally giving it what it needs and finally like learning when you're hungry and everything once you eat everything that you want to and you allow yourself to eat these things your body is going to slowly adjust 
and know that you don't actually need all that food and you won't even want it to be honest with you if you keep eating your ice cream and your pizza all day because you finally can eat it once you keep doing that and your body gets used to it you're going to actually crave like healthy foods and you're going to slowly minimize that stuff which brings me in to my next tip which is slowly minimize my portion sizes so once you go through the step of allowing yourself to eat everything that you want your body is going to slowly minimize those things your body is just naturally reacting to what it actually wants and how many calories your body actually needs once you eat two boxes of pizza that night because you're allowing yourself to eat all these things and it tastes so good you're going to slowly minimize that by not even like a drastic change maybe it's just one piece less a week which is totally fine you're still minimizing and once you keep minimizing your body will finally react to eating a certain number of calories that it wants and needs slowly minimizing your food intake without even trying and just listening to what your body needs is a great thing to do and it's the natural way to do without even dieting specifically number seven which i kind of already touched on is to eat balanced and your body's going to thank you for it i promise and your body's going to react positively to it because now i pretty much am eating like all healthy foods all the time but if i do want something like a treat here and there i can allow myself to have that because that is a healthy balanced lifestyle and it is the best way to live I promise it is the best way to live number eight is really important is stop excessive exercising I didn't even know like I was doing anything wrong I just I thought like it was the right thing to do if I over I would just work out extra hard the next day but that turned into like a whole day at the gym which was like four or five hours at the gym of cardio to just get rid of all the calories that I took in when you go home you're actually going to binge again and it's gonna be kind of a cycle because you just burn all those calories that you took in and all the calories that you need to function and now you're going to overeat again and binge like you're just gonna binge again and again your body actually needs calories to function now i'm working out for 30 minutes to an hour and i don't feel guilty after because it does burn a healthy amount of calories like 500 maybe which is totally doable that's like a breakfast or something instead of burning your whole days of calories in that exercising period and don't think of exercise as something that you have to do but something that you want to do number nine is journal and yoga meditate read my faith is something that really helped me throughout my disorder when you have your disorder you can really feel alone you kind of feel like no one understands so my faith is something that really helped me reading my bible journaling i also journaled in another journal and like vented about how i was feeling when i binged and that really helped me to stop binging because i knew how it made me feel and that i wanted to stop and you just want to be in a good place with yourself and work on your self-love and not so much this dieting and hating your body no matter what size or weight you are you're still going to not love yourself until you actually do love yourself and you need to do these things to help you love yourself and just be happy with yourself number 10 is to start enjoying life so after you do all these things and you're living a healthy balanced lifestyle you can actually go out with your friends and family and not worry about what you're taking in i know when you have a disorder it's really hard to go out and be social and eat everything that everyone's eating without worrying about how much you're taking in and worrying about saying no to dessert when you actually really want the dessert and then binging on it later when everyone goes to sleep you know you can start enjoying your life and not worrying about all these things and actually love yourself and i really 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 pray that you guys can get through this and i know that you can because i did and i know you can too i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you can start enjoying your life soon and if you have any questions or if you want to contact me you can comment below and i will link my email in the description box so you can talk to me 
I am no professional. Although I am going into psychology, I have no degree. If you really are struggling with a binge eating disorder, I do encourage you to go talk to someone. To My camera died, but I really do encourage you guys that you can go get help. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I really hope this video helped you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.